She Can is a global summit for female leaders and entrepreneurs of faith looking for growth, strategy, resources, and inspiration. Here today is Christy Jackson. She is the founder of She Can, and we're going to be joined by one of your ambassadors in the second segment of, um, of the show today. But let's get started with this. You've got this weekend is a very big event for you. It is. So finally you. here. Yes, it's finally <laughs> here. So I do want to get into all the details of that. But tell me, I'm going to um, ask you first about your business, your nonprofit, sure. which is kind of the foundation for this big summit coming up this weekend. Yes. So maybe start things off. It's called Social Synergy Project. It is. Tell me how this got started, what is it? Sure, Social Synergy is an entrepreneurship support organization that really was created to abridge the divide, the diversity gap um, in the St. Louis startup community. And so it was birthed out of my husband, uh, James Jackson and I, uh, our experience um, developing our um, business and really not having a tech focused business, mm -hmm. but realizing that a lot of the resources were geared towards such. And so um, people began to ask us, you know, how do you know about these events that you guys are going to? How do you know these individuals? And so we just began to create this network and really share uh, the resources that we were learning. And then we started to intentionally build partnerships with organizations that were key in the startup community, mm -hmm. like Arch Grants and Kaufman and Venture Cafe. And uh, we created partnership events and, you know, just to sort of bridge that gap. Okay. So that's really how it was born. So then that's so and so that's your business. And then you come up with this idea. How did you come up with this idea to have this huge summit, which yes. is now going to be taking place this weekend? Yes. Well, really the summit was born out of me taking a step back from the work that I was doing okay. to evaluate, you know, who I am, why am I doing this work that I'm doing? What really brings me purpose? And what rose up for me was my faith is really the inspiration um, that is my differentiator. Mm -hmm. um, it gives me the, the creativity that I have, the talents that I have. And so I decided that I was done with checking my faith at the door mm -hmm. uh, for those opportunities that I was having. And so I knew that as I was talking to other friends and women that were entrepreneurs as well, they were in agreement and they agreed that this is sort of the season that they are experiencing mm -hmm. this um, moment of affirmation from, from God as well mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. And so we felt now is the time to gather women, create a space where we can focus on building our faith, but building professional skills as well, and that the two can now meet. Mm, yes, that's, no, it's really, really interesting. It's really interesting to hear you say that too. And, and so then we come to the summit. Yes. So this is a two-day event. It is. Um, start me off with Friday, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, so, you know, we could have just started with just a full day of workshops and breakout sessions, with it, which are typical, but we really wanted this weekend to be about sisterhood, about honoring women that are walking out their faith and doing it successfully. And so we started with the Catalyst Awards, which is an, an awards dinner that we've created where we are honoring women and girls that are leading in business, leadership, nonprofit spaces. Um, and so it's going to be a night of celebration uh, at the Manchester United Methodist Church is the venue that we're having the event. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's just a night of celebrating diversity, mm -hmm. celebrating women. Um, and so that is the first event and then Saturday is the, uh, the, the full day summit. And so we will have breakout sessions for women and um, youth ages 11 to 18, girls ages 11 to 18. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a full weekend of growth, connection, and sisterhood. That's really, no, I think that's great. And I know we're gonna kind of get into a little bit more of the details of this weekend yes. um, in our next segment. I really wanna come back to this um, sort of, uh, this intertwining between spiritual growth and professional development together. Can you give the example of sort of how, when you said you finally are sort of taking mm -hmm. um, the reins with that how that looked before and how that looks now if you sure. could give me an example of that. Sure. Well, I've actually been doing a little research around how entrepreneurship has played out in the faith-based spaces. And really, churches were the original entrepreneurial spaces, especially in the black community. Mm -hmm. um, pastors, you know, think about the, the bake sales and, you know, things of, you know, things of that nature. And so um, it was really just time that I was using my entrepreneurial skill set mm -hmm. to serve in our ministry capacities that my husband mm -hmm. and I were serving at with our church. And we just happened to be with a pastor that valued that, um, serving at the Equation Church. And so um, it was a space where he valued, the pastor valued us utilizing our entrepreneurial skill sets and also sharing that with church members and seeing them blossom with their business ideas. And so we knew that this was really going to catch on. And it is 
unique to the faith-based space. Mm -hmm. There are lots of entrepreneurs in churches, but there are very few churches yes. and faith-based spaces that develop entrepreneurship within their members. And you're essentially affirming that these things don't have to be exclusive, which they I think we, we did before. I mean, we're gonna get into more details, so we're gonna take a quick break. Okay. Before we take our break, though, check it out on the screen. This is the details of the She Can Summit. It's coming up this weekend. The Kettles Awards Dinner are Friday night, and the She Can Summit is Saturday. Uh, for more information, head to SheCanSummit.com. But don't go anywhere. We're going to have more right after this break. Please stay with us.